Oh my god, it's so foggy. And the outside is what creeps me out the most, like, 100% creeps me out the most. That's why I was so scared on the second Outlast. I was legitly scared, man. The outside, it's just something about the outside, and the inside, I, could, I feel like more safe. <clears throat> so when jump scares come up and all that stuff... It's not that scary. At least in the inside, it's not that scary. In the outside, it's a different story. Yeah, let's just close that. I'm not sure where to go. Looks like the game wants me to go here, but it's locked. Unless I could climb over it. I doubt it. Nope. Nope. Watch it be something very simple. Like crawling under something. Yeah. <laughs> you could easily climb this in real life, at least. Missing something. Oh wait. Is this where we came from? Yeah, I believe, yeah, I believe that's where we came from. Let's go over here then. I swear to God, if something pops up, I can hear noises. Oh, come on. What was that? That's the first time that something has ever pushed me like that. I'm done with this outside thing. I'm just going to run it. I don't know where to go, but... Just run it, just run it. I'm out. Close this door. I don't care if there's batteries. Let's just leave. Door can't open. Oh, God. What the hell is this room? What's the purpose of that little room here? It's like a security room? Open. Dang it. There's a radio. See what's in the other side. Oh, 
Ho! His neck is bent. Almost all the way to his back. Okay. We found a battery. That's good. Looks like we have to jump down here. I'm so glad I turned this way. <laughs> over here. More batteries. Okay, awesome. That was worth it. What if... No, never mind. Just gonna go down... Gonna go into this little sewer thing. See, I thought we were gonna go into inside the asylum, but I guess it's outside. Not these brothers again. Okay. He's right there. You guys gonna kill me? Let me just run this way. Oh. Basketball. Oh man. I'm out of here. As much as I love basketball, I'm out. Oh, the radio's in here. Definitely has to be in here, right? Yes, it is. I think. That's just a document. Kurt, we've got another one, and I'm not sure you're going to be able to check it off as psycho psycho ah, excuse me, psychopathic proximity disorder. Security guard all the way up in the admin block is our latest non-patient employee to start seeing Wernke's fairy tales. He was never directly exposed to the engine, never even made it below level 1 in the building. It would be an enormous breach of protocol and security if doctors were speaking of the wall rider. 
within hearing of a contracted security guard. It seems banishly impro improbable that he would stumble onto such an obscure <laughs> mythological story on his own. Too similar to the Dr. Samuel case or the others before him, it's one thing for formerly sane medical personnel to fall under the delusions of their patients. It's another thing entirely for those beliefs to be, I don't know, airborne. We need to talk in person. Definitely looks like people are spilling information out and stuff. That's locked. Better. Maybe the radio is up here. They'll trust them. They'll tell you it's science, but it's Can we not. push them? No, oh, yeah. They were waiting for us in this place. Billy understood. They've always been here. It's okay, guys. Game's trying to scare us. Before we use that radio. I know something's gonna be busting out of this door. <clears throat> Let's close the door first. And let's use it. This guy again. Game's got me thinking. If we if we call nine one one, they still have to come, right? 
You still have to send a patrol officer to make sure everything's... Alright. So we kind of made it? Oh, he's closing the door. Son of a... Damn it. Let's get over here then. Why did I do that? Oh shit. There's nowhere to hide. Oh man, he got us. Dang it. I'm just gonna stay in this corner. What? That's BS. How did he hit us? <clears throat> There's nothing in here. Another poor soul. Don't be afraid, you're doing his work, whether you know it or not. Somebody who looks as much like a priest as this place looks like an asylum, writing instructions on the wall, talking about God, tells me not to be afraid. How was I ever part of this inhuman bullshit? Greed-driven moral genocide, monsters, Murkoff ripped from torture mines, the lengths of their jackbooted business. <clears throat> School worms will go to protect it. Their own men slaughtered. I've never prayed in my life, Lisa, but if some small-minded interventionist god is listening, kill Jeremy Blair before I die. Sanity in her eyes. There's no pain he doesn't deserve. There's no radio, no hope of reaching the outside world, only escape.